Getting a gunsmithing degree or certificate is a lot of work. So you might be asking yourself, what will it get me in the end? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Gavin Gu here from ultimatereloader.com. I'm joined by Rick Kasner of STI. Thank you, Rick, for joining us. Yeah, no problem. Before we get into the meat of the content, if you're interested in the Sonoran Desert Institute, go to sdi.edu or you can call 480-999-4767. Okay, so we're here to talk about why should you get a degree or certificate in firearms technology and gunsmithing? First of all, what's, what's the difference be between the two at SDI? Yeah, so our, our degree option is there's a regular associate's degree, an associate of science degree. Mm -hmm. And you have your regular gen eds, like you would have at any other school. You would have your sciences, your math, your history, mm -hmm. psychology, things like that. And then, but you also have your, your technical courses, your firearms courses, like woodworking, uh, troubleshooting, uh, AR, specific platforms like the AR 1911, mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. um, so understanding about that. Then you also have your certificate, which is a 32 credit. Um, certificate and that's more of you're, you're skipping all the the gen eds you're you're more of a targeted focus on the technical courses that we would offer in the associates program so minus a few gotcha that we would offer but. so 60 credits versus 32 credits mm -hmm. and one is a bit more broad and gives you a better you know positioning on your resume that kind of thing yep uh, and then the other would be maybe more targeted. And maybe to talk about why you would pick one over another, let's, let's look at a typical career pathway, right? You're gonna start from a particular place. Let's say you had a business degree mm -hmm. and you wanted to go in and start your own gunsmithing shop or, or work at, at a firearms manufacturer. You know, maybe in that case, since you've already got some of that general education background, you would just go for cert, you know, certificate and then get through it a little bit more quickly and, and go and do what it is that you wanted to do. Now let's say on the flip side, uh, you're just you know out of high school or you know, you've been working for five years after high school, hey, I wanna do this gunsmithing and, and firearms industry thing, right? I would say that's the better candidate for the degree program. Yep. You know, a, a broad range of opportunities, that larger placement on your resume. So we have a video that's an overview of the courses at SDI. We talked about this gen ed stuff is actually, it's not fluff, it's stuff that you're gonna want. Yeah. You know, business background type stuff, uh, you know, reading and writing English type stuff, the skills that you're gonna wanna, you know, buff up on, if not, you know, fortify and learn, you know, some of it from the ground up. If you have zero business expertise, it's gonna be a bit of an eye opener and really help you understand the industry even if you're not running the business you know I would say yeah and so as far as my path mm -hmm. I went the traditional associates degree path um, at a gunsmith school and the reason for that is I was just starting in the industry I was starting my career so I mm -hmm. needed I wanted that associates degree so that I could differentiate myself from others now we have a lot of other a lot of our students, some of them come in with, a lot of them actually come in with PhDs or master's degrees. Mm -hmm. They're on the e other end of their, their, their um, career trajectory. Career. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're into retirement. They're looking or at the, they're at that second career mm -hmm. time, or they're just supp supplementing their income. Yeah. And so, so yeah, depending on what you want, I mean, that you have the associate's degree to choose from or the certificate to choose from. Yeah. So. Yeah, and it's a part of that continuing learning that you're gonna you're gonna want to do, and and you can even take individual training sections a la carte, right? Mm -hmm. If if you just want one specific thing. Yeah, depending on when we're having our our um, supply chain, because we we did run into some supply chain issues okay. <laughs> recently because of the COVID and all yep. other things. So um, so we had to put that on pause for a for a time. But yeah, that's that's gonna start moving forward again here pretty soon. Gotcha because we had to save it, save the product for our, for our students who were actually in the, the programs. Gotcha. But yes, that is something that we, we, we want to offer and we look mm -hmm. forward to offering and they might start, start that up again here pretty soon. Yep. 
Yeah, and I, I like how, you know, when we look at a career path, you could start working for some company, right? And then decide you want to do your own thing and start your own, you know, sole proprietorship or even a home shop at first. Continue learning, continue getting more experience and work your way into, you know, something bigger. It all depends really on what your goals are, right? Yep. Okay, so let's drill down some of the specific points about what a degree or a certificate, depending on what path you go, gets you in the end. Yeah. So for me, we, we wrote down a couple of these bullets. For me, it's like I mentioned, it's differentiating your resume. So mm -hmm. there are a lot of people that are super passionate about firearms. <laughs> and they come in, I've, I've seen this so many times and it breaks my heart because they come in and they say, well, I want a job here. Mm -hmm. I'm very passionate about firearms and I have a lot of experience. Mm -hmm. Well, you and uh, 12 million other people <laughs> uh, or, or even more than that. Yeah. So you've got to set yourself apart. And, and to me, the, the degree does that. That shows that you're not just passionate, but you're dedicated. Yep. You can focus, you can follow through, you're willing to spend money, right? You're serious. Yeah, you're serious about it. Yep, absolutely. Uh, and then it, it is a confidence booster, you mm -hmm. know, not only because you've got that piece of paper, but because you've got the practical skills and the business knowledge and that whole breadth of experiences that is going to pave your way to success. Yeah, for me, and this happens to a lot of our students as well. So for me, I was a, not a very good student in high school <laughs> as far as grades go. Yeah. And so when I was thinking about doing, doing school, I was like, man, I'll just do a trade school and I'll do the associates program thinking that was the easiest way. And I went into gunsmithing school and I loved it. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of good experiences. I built my skills, but it also at that point gave me the confidence to know that I could still go on and I could achieve more. I got a bachelor's and I got a master's after that. Mm -hmm. And it's because of the gunsmithing school, the associates program that gave me that confidence to keep rolling. Yep. So, yeah. And, I think if you look at breadth of skills, I think if you're going to just be self-taught, you're going to tend to gravitate towards things that are either right in front of you or that you're passionate about. But when you go through a program, it's, it's going to force you to get into areas that you're uncomfortable with. It might give you experience in different types of firearms or technology that you don't normally have access to. So again, having that a, a more diverse portfolio of skills, a broad set of knowledge, Definitely a boost. Well, yeah, and so there's a there's a saying that, that goes like, if, if I'm a gunsmith, I can fix anything. And it really <laughs> is, has some truth to it. Mm -hmm. So our a lot of our students, one of the required courses as of right now is uh, checkering, mm -hmm. checkering lab. A lot of students go through that checkering lab and it's not as easy as they thought it was gonna be. <laughs> they think it was it would be super simple to, to scratch some lines in a, in a piece of wood and it's not. And they they go through I, I've heard this so many times, but they go through the the experience of it and they say, okay, well that was a great experience. I'm never gonna do that again in my life, but I'm glad I had that experience mm -hmm. because just experiencing something that you're you're not familiar with builds your understanding. But it doesn't necessarily just build your understanding as far as in firearms. You can mm -hmm. take that and translate it to other industries, different different um, you know concepts mm -hmm. practices so anyway it's it's just good to like you said kind of be forced into into um experiencing new things because yeah. you do try tend to gravitate towards things you're you're comfortable with and yeah. you're never going to branch out i'll give you an example i was not interested in business courses in college i studied mechanical engineering well now guess what i'm interested in i'm interested in studying business finance because I'm running a business yeah. and you need to really know how to work with resources and money. So those things, yeah, you might not think you'll ever use it. Just wait, that opportunity <laughs> might come around. Uh, I think the last one here that we have is a really good one, being a part of a professional community. Yep, yeah, that's a big deal. So when you're going through the courses, our courses, you're gonna be having discussion boards and that's a really, discussion boards are like forums. Mm -hmm. It's a really good time to get to know your, your fellow students. Some of them have been in the industry for a long time. Some of mm -hmm. them are working for big names and they're just kind of 
brushing up, getting that degree that they never got because it'll give them that pay raise or, mm -hmm. or that promotion. Um, but, but even if they don't, like having that, that person you've gone through school with and then you can call later mm -hmm. and say, hey, you know, can you help me with this? I'm struggling with this, this certain thing that you're doing. Mm -hmm. And you guys are able to work with each other or he has a skill that you don't have. have. Mm -hmm. He has the equipment you don't have. Yep. It, it builds, it, it allows you to have that community. Yeah, and you know, being a YouTuber, I actually do that with other YouTubers. Uh, I'll use an example, laser everything. Uh, he does great stuff. I got a fiber laser engraver. I had a ton of questions for him. He helped me, and you know, I'm helping him promote his YouTube channel, and it's, it's so symbiotic, right? Yeah. And the great thing about a professional network is you're dealing with other people that are serious about what they're doing, right? Yep. This isn't just some random internet Joe, right? On Reddit or, or whatever, yep. you know, or, or other forums like that, right? These are people that are serious about what they're doing. There's a bar to entry. And those are really the people that you want to have in your community, you know, people yep. that are in the same line of work and, mm -hmm. you know, to help each other. Really, really great yep. thing. Uh, and, and people to not to belabor this point, but, <laughs> but to challenge you. Mm -hmm. Challenge is so important in the, in the academic world to be able to disagree and mm -hmm. still be friends. Mm -hmm. You know, we can disagree because that allows you to, to think broadly, th expand your, mm -hmm. expand your horizon. So I think that that challenge is so important. Absolutely. Yeah. Doing great work and pushing the limits. Yeah, that's, that's where it's really at. Uh, so here's the question for you all. If you're looking at gunsmithing training programs, you know, if you're looking at brick and mortar schools that you're gonna have to move to versus this online model, uh, tell us what you're thinking about the pros and cons between the two. And if you have questions about SDI's program, by all means, drop a comment and uh, we'll respond to that. Thank you, Rick, for coming. Yeah, no this problem. This has been a lot of fun. That concludes this video, and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're gonna to wanna to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you're interested in becoming a professional gunsmith, check out the Sonoran Desert Institute. They've got a degree program, they've got a certificate program, and you can study from home. Learn more at sdi.edu. Thanks again for watching.